So yes, you did read the title right. DaVinci Resolve actually stealth added some new transitions in Resolve 19. You'd think they'd be under the Transitions tab, but they're actually not. So I'm going to show you exactly where they're at and how to use them and how to adjust them to your liking because they don't work exactly the way the other transitions do. Now you go ahead and hit the like button and I'll get out of the way so you don't miss anything. So right here, I just have two completely random B-roll clips. One's a coffee shop. One is a concept police car. So these transitions are actually hidden over here under toolbox and then they're actually under generators right here. I know it's kind of shocking, but as you scroll down, maybe you've used some of this stuff before, but there's a section right here, Stinger transitions. And these things are incredibly interesting. Some of the ones I like using this one, I think looks really cool. You just drag it and drop it over top of where you want the transition to be. You don't drag and drop it directly onto the transition in the middle here. For these ones, you actually drag and drop them over top and they just look like a generic fusion clip right here. So you can go ahead and I'll just play it forward over top one time right here and you can see how it comes forward. And most of these do actually have text that comes over the top right there. And you can have it say whatever you want. See that one said sample text, but beyond that, you can actually have it do an image, a logo of your company, or you can have it do anything you really want to any image. So for the image, all you have to do is click browse right here. Then you select where the image is, and then you just have to click use custom logo and it'll pop right up. Most people may know this particular meme, this particular emote that uses on some streaming sites. But yeah, you can just have it come forward with whatever picture you want. I think the transparent background images look the funniest, but whatever you want. Also, once you have one of these up there, you can select it and go ahead and scroll down and you actually change all the different colors you see right at the bottom over here in the inspector. So a lot of times I actually love red as a color for these. We're gonna go ahead and change the line color also. We'll go ahead and make that red as well. And let's say this gray, I ah, will change it to, how about like a bright green, I don't know. So it's all gonna depend on what you want. I guess this is gonna be some Christmas colors right there. But there's kind of a quick overview of how to adjust these as well. Now you can use these in other ways too because they're not actually all transitions. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one up here and let's just say something crazy happened something like that's amazing so you can just have it pop up wow it'll go ahead and make the text actually smaller over here that's a bit too big there but there you go wow and you can go ahead and make it smaller so maybe it flashes super fast wow or let's say you want your logo to pop up here i'm going to do the same thing as before click browse and select the image and right here we got the logo fly across oh it's a funny little doggy but let's say we want it to go super fast we'll go ahead and shorten it up funny dog flies across super quick. So look in these stinger transitions, really mess around with them, get them tweaked exactly the way you want them to really match your YouTube channel or for your video or whatever project that you're working on.